for the first and only Castlevania game to be released for the Genesis, it seems appropriate for it to be one of the goriest installments of the series at the time, all the way down to its title screen drenched in blood. Now, luckily, this game is also drenched in copious amounts of awesome. This is Castlevania Bloodlines for the Sega Genesis, released in 1994 by Konami. This time around, there's a bit more behind the story than the usual Dracula is back, as you actually tour around Europe a bit in pursuit of Drac's beautiful niece who intends to resurrect her creepy uncle. You can choose between two characters, Belmont descended John Morris from Texas, or the spear-wielding Spaniard Eric Lacard. Aside from their different weapons, they actually do control quite a bit differently, making for some slightly different gameplay experiences. The play controls are a lot like the old school NES Castlevanias, especially as far as jumping goes, but you do get a bit more control over your attack direction like in Super Castlevania 4. John can whip diagonally up while jumping, and latch onto ceilings and swing across gaps, while Eric can poke his lance straight upwards and do a charged up vertical jump, and both of them can attack downwards while jumping. Sometimes you'll even have to take a different path in some levels depending on who you're playing as. The controls in general aren't as versatile as the SNES counterpart, but the difference between characters is an interesting touch, and overall the game has more of that classic 8-bit feel, especially in terms of its difficulty. The graphics are far from 8-bit, however, as there are a plentiful amount of weird effects to witness in the colorful and atmospheric levels that really push the Genesis to the limit. The character and monster designs are also rich with detail, awesome with some sweet animated battle damage. Man, I've always hated birds in these games, so decapitating these beasts is thoroughly enjoyable for me. Uh, and some of the boss battles are definitely impressive and creatively designed. But of course, it wouldn't be a proper Castlevania without an epic soundtrack, and the FM8 sound chip of the Sega definitely turns up the heat here with some rocking gothic anthems, including a few remix themes from past games. Most importantly, this game is a very fun and challenging platformer that has a pretty unique style and feel compared to other games in the series but it's still definitely familiar enough to resonate well with longtime fans. Naturally, it's often compared to Super Castlevania 4 on the Super Nintendo, but for me, it's actually really hard to decide which one I like better, since they are both very distinct from each other, and they're definitely awesome games in their own way. In the end, it might come down to accessibility, because for now, the only way to buy this game is a used Genesis cartridge, while most of the other old-school Castlevanias are available on the Wii's Virtual Console. But if you can find a copy of Bloodlines, it's a worthwhile addition to the collection of any of those vampire hunters out there.